To become a scuba diver, you need to be certified through a reputable agency. In this video, you'll learn what it takes to become certified and begin to explore the underwater world. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor, and on this channel, you'll see videos on scuba education, equipment, experiences, and environmental awareness. Scuba diving opens up an entire world that many people never experience. According to a report from the Sport and Fitness Industry Association, there are only around 6 million people worldwide that scuba dive. This is less than 0.1% of the world population, which means if you get certified, you'll be able to see things that most people only see on TV. In order to get certified, there are internationally recognized agencies that follow specific standards created by the International Organization for Standards, or ISO. There are a lot of scuba agencies out there. In fact, there are over 150, but there are a few that are considered the largest and most well-known for recreational diving. Some of the more popular ones include NAWI, SSI, SDI, and PADI, with PADI being by far the largest agency in the world and who I'm currently certified through as an instructor. There are many things people will say about which agency is the best, but at the end of the day, it's really more about the instructor than the agency, as all the agencies have to follow the same standards that are set by the ISO. In just about every agency, the entry-level certification is known as an open water certification. This is what you'll need to become certified and begin scuba diving with a buddy. To become certified, you need to be at least 10 years old, though anyone under 14 will have additional restrictions such as maximum depth and supervision requirements. If you are 15 or older, PADI open water certification allows you to dive on your own with a certified buddy up to a maximum depth of 60 feet or 18 meters. It also allows you to rent dive equipment, obtain air fills to refill your cylinders, and book trips and boat excursions with charters that can take you out to awesome shipwrecks, beautiful coral reefs, and more. If you're interested in some of the things you can see underwater, check out some of the YouTube shorts I've been posting as I'm showcasing all the creatures and coral reefs I've seen. There are a few other prerequisites to keep in mind as well, such as filling out a medical waiver stating you're fit to dive, as well as being able to swim and tread water or float for a certain amount of time. Now, the total course can take a few weeks to complete depending on the local dive center you take your course with, and usually it's gonna cost around $500 US. Private instructors may charge more, and every dive center has its own pricing models and bundles, so your mileage may vary. Now, before I into some of the specific components of the open water course, if you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. It really helps me out. Patty's open water certification is broken into a few components, and you'll find if you continue to take additional classes, the same structure is followed in most cases. There's knowledge development, which can be done in a classroom or more often online, depending on the class and your local dive center. This will provide you with a base knowledge of the topics, skills, and equipment you'll need to complete the course and become certified. Then there's what we call confined water dive. This is usually done in a pool or pool-like conditions where the water is very shallow, crystal clear, and there's no current or waves to worry about. Your first time breathing underwater will be in conditions like this, and I'll tell you right now, it is a moment you will never forget. Finally, there are open water dives, which are sometimes referred to as checkout dives. These are conducted in a lake, quarry, or in the ocean and allow you to finally experience what diving's like outside of the pool. In the confined water portion, you'll start learning and performing the basic skills you'll need to know as a diver, such as clearing water out of your mask if it leaks, communicating with hand signals, emergency procedures, monitoring your air pressure, setting up your equipment, and so much more. In the open water section, you'll build upon what you learned in the confined water portion by repeating and practicing skills while exploring the dive site. Once you demonstrate that you can perform all of the skills, you'll be a certified diver. Congrats. So what do you do now? Well, this is where the fun really begins. Open water certification is your gateway to the wide world of diving. You can take an advanced course or dive into specialties to learn about conservation, perfect your buoyancy, take photos and videos underwater, and so much more. Next time you go on vacation, you can see if there's a local dive shop with diving in the area. You can go back to your local dive shop and buy a full kit of scuba gear or rent some gear and practice what you learned with a buddy without the need of an instructor. Really, at this point, the world is your oyster, but my suggestion would be to get more time in the water. The best way to improve and become a better diver is to take continuing education courses, spend more time in the water diving, and practice, practice, practice. Remember, dive conservatively and within your limits, and of course, have fun. If you're interested in learning more about the specifics of the PADI Open Water Certification skills or what courses you can take after you become certified, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you're planning your next dive adventure but you aren't sure where to go, look for my videos on dive sites and countries I've been to for tips on what to pack and where the best spots are. Finally, remember to make friends with the staff at your local dive center. 
They work hard to provide experiences to you, and you'll find the dive community is extremely friendly and welcoming. Many dive centers have become like a family to me over time, and you'll find those are the ones that give you the best advice and gear recommendations for your needs versus just the most expensive piece of equipment they can sell you. With that said, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.